All right, well, this is gonna be a bit of a bear. This is one of my all-time favorite smallmouth rivers. And the water is low. The access used to be over there, but that's grown in. So I think this is gonna be a little bit of a bear to get the kayak out, but I'll get her in. And if I have to drag it out with the truck, <laughs> So be it. Let's uh, let's see how muddy that really is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She doesn't want. She's sinking right in. <clears throat> Whoo wee! Well, now I'm past the point of no return right here. All right. Well, I got the boat in. It is 5.04. Sunrise is in probably 10 or 15 minutes. And I'm on the Kentuckook. The Kentuckook River is one of my all-time favorite rivers. When my boy Jesse was a kid, this is the place we used to come with the canoe because we never got skunked. And there's some good smallmouth in here. I think we've caught smallmouth up to three pounds. But most of the fish are probably going to be a little on the smaller side. That's all right. You see the smoke on the water. What a beautiful morning. It's, uh, it's about 45 degrees. Got the gloves on. We're supposed to get up around, I think, 70. I've got three rigs. I've got... The Ned rig with the Helgramite on it, which I was killing them in the Connecticut with. And then I've got Ola's tiny child rig. I think I have that uh, on a Z-Man Hot Snakes TRD. Kind of a pumpkin chartreuse combo. And then I've got my all-time favorite smallmouth topwater lure, the Tiny Torpedo. Used to slay them up in upstate New York when I was fishing there back in the day. So uh, we'll get down here. We're going to throw the top water a little bit. See what happens. I'm going to start off throwing this tiny torpedo. This thing used to be killer for me back, back home. Um, I got it on a bait caster. And it's a little bit light, but let's get to be on this tree. We'll see how far I can cast it. Not very far, but... That's okay, this is a uh, small river. Oh, I can't cast it very far at all. I'm gonna get backlash if I'm not careful. I may switch over to a popper. A little more weight to it. Yeah, I'm only casting this thing about 20 feet. Even though this river is uh, is small in comparison to the Connecticut and the Pemi, there's a lot of trees in this river. You know, just like every river in the spring when they flood. They, uh, a lot of trees wash in. Let's go up the river a little ways. There's a dam not too far up there. It gets shallow pretty quick, but I think we can uh, get up into some of that faster water. Hard to see how shallow it is this early in the morning, even with polarized glasses.
got him. <laughs> it's a uh, yeah, little sunfish. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting. Look how bright red that belly is. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Doesn't count for anything, but <laughs> first fish of the day. I started off the day with um, 73 bass on my way to 180. I'm, uh, I'm right on track. Actually, a little, probably a little ahead of schedule. I'm hoping to put some numbers up today. We'll see. Getting really shallow up here. I might just, uh, you know, the, the faster water is up around the bend quite a ways. I might just uh, turn around and head back down. Turn around. Ooh, got him. Ooh, feels like something better than a sunny. Ooh, come on. First bass of the day. Nice little small mouth, about eight or nine inches, but it's kind of probably what the average is going to be here today. So. This takes me up to 74. Thank you for playing, little fella. I'm the tiny child. All right. I had the feeling there was going to be a fish over there by that root ball. There might be another one. Hopefully a little bit bigger. Well, you know what? Took the tungsten weight out of the end of my uh, tiny child. Did it flop in the bottom of the boat? Nope. Something tapped it on the end. That's the thing I worried about with this rig is would the, uh, the tungsten weight come out? So now it's a uh, basically just a uh, Texas rig TRD without any weight. 534 when I caught that first bass. Well, it's 534 now, 530. Ooh, got another one. Oh, this one. Oh, man, he's a dumper. And another <laughs> eight inch, nine inch smallmouth. Number 75. Thank you for playing, little fella. I guess the uh, TRD Texas rigged without the weight is going to be just as good. jumper of a smallmouth. Oh, man, well, first one on the Helgramite. I hope this doesn't end up being a day of nothing but dinks, but this is the smallest smallmouth of the day. Maybe five inches. Number three. 
I count them all, buddies. I count them all. Got that one on the Helgramite. That's uh, 76. Hopefully we'll get some bigger ones. We got a long way to go. I mean, we're only 100 yards from the where we launched. We went up the river about two or 300 yards. Some good fishing down, all the way down this river. Got another one. <laughs> uh, number four. And another tiny smallmouth. Man, where are your big granddaddies? Five inch smallmouth. Oh, there you go. See ya. <sighs> Number four, it's 77. All right, well, it's a 711, and the bite is slowed right down. I've tried just a little bit of everything. I'm switching over now to a four inch yum dinger in a totally different color. Pumpkin, chartreuse, the Helgramite, the spinnerbait. Oh, oh, nothing was getting much love. So, and everything I've gotten so far today has been just little. And that one there, just tap, tap, tapping. I don't know where the big boys are. But we've upsized a little bit, yet we're still kind of downsized. Got him. Ooh, feels like a decent one. It is. It's a bass. Oh, it's the biggest bass of the day. And it's all of 10 inches. All right. Finally got another bass. I believe it's the biggest bass of the day. Probably <laughs> nine inches. Maybe. You're beautiful though, and I'm happy to have had you. I think that's number six. Oh, I think it's number six, it might be number five, but we'll say six for now, and I'll correct myself when I edit, if it's not. Right on that brush pile. It's kind of where they've been coming from, but been a, been a long time coming. It's uh, 10 after eight. I think I caught my last bass like six o'clock or something like that. I've covered quite a bit of river. Uh, the water is low, I can tell you that. But they just not, have not been uh, very active. I've tried a lot of different stuff. But that came on the green pumpkin, four inch yum dinger, so I'm gonna go back to that. I promise you, there are some good bass in this river. I've caught some nice ones in here before. Like I said, nothing huge, but I have caught three pounder in here before. Most of them are 12 inches or so. Today they seem to be half that. All right, 
switched over to the uh, oh, light pumpkin and I don't know whatever it else it is and it's got a uh, super fluke on there maybe we can attract some bigger fish especially in this where we got this open water and it's a little bit deeper Good one on the chatterbait, finally. Oh man, what is it? Oh, nice fish. Ah, oh, it's a pickerel. I don't care. Well, finally got a decent fish. Not the species I'm after, but a nice pickerel on the chatterbait. Settle down. Oh, he's got my line in his mouth. Yeah, he's got my leader in his mouth. I'm probably gonna have to retie. I've got the hook stuck in the net. Come on. Doesn't add up for the bass count, but... It's a nice fish. And luckily he didn't steal my chatterbait, he just ruined my leader, so I'll have to retie. No biggie. We're getting into what looks a little bit more like largemouth water. And have caught a largemouth or two in here, but we'll go to the yum dinger for a little bit. Got him. Not sure what it is. <laughs> it is a bass. Another smallmouth. I thought it was going to be a largey. All right, settle down. Another smallmouth, like six, seven inches. I think this is um, number eight. No, number seven. Number seven, and that takes me to 80. So I'm pretty sure. We'll see when I edit. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm a little disappointed with the way the day ended up. It's after 11, I've been on the water for over six hours. And I think I have seven bass. Uh, I'll check when I'm editing, but I think I ended up with seven. All dinks. I mean, some of them, I think I caught one that was four or five inches. The rest were six, seven, eight. I think the biggest one I caught might have stretched nine. Um, for putting as much time on the water as I did today in such a great, I mean, this river has been great. Uh, to only catch that many fish and all dinks, yeah, it's a little bit of a disappointment. I did get a little thrill on the chatterbait. I got a pretty decent sized pickerel, but that was it. Um, really not what I expected today. I kind of expected to catch 13, 14, maybe 15 fish in here. and was hoping for something bigger but that's all right uh, you can't catch big ones every time you're out so this is my third smallmouth installment um, and I'm going back after some big largies uh, I want to feel that uh, that big tug this battery's about to die I've got three miles of river to head back to the truck and I'm a little worried about the uh, the launch site. It's going to be uh, it's going to be tough getting the kayak out. 
but if worse comes to worse, I've got some rope. I'll hook a uh, rope up to the truck and uh, we'll drag it out if we have to. So thanks for coming along. Not a very exciting day, but uh, another nice piece of river. And uh, we'll see you next time. I don't know where or when, but it won't be too long. Peace. Why paddle when you can pedal?